first thing I do is I tell people to talk to other people about it. Uh, not your mother, not your friends, you know, people about it that are in the industry. If you're going to sell a product or an idea, what would you tell them? Um, and, and then get their ideas and be willing to listen to the flaws in your idea. So would, and then get to the point where you can describe it really well because so often it's so clear in your head but other people have this big question mark. So how can you get very clear in one or two sentences? What is it you're selling? What's the need or the opportunity you're trying to address? So that's one thing to do. Talk to other people and then you go to one person, ask them to refer you to someone else. You need to have critical honesty about your idea to see if it's, it has any validity to it. Having been on the product side of the equation personally for so many years in a couple of different businesses, I can't tell you the amount of people that have come to me and said, what do you think of this idea? Exactly. Right? And I never, ever talk about the idea. It's always about, do you understand what it takes to move that from ideation to innovation. commercialization it's all about and execution. the innovation that goes in between that and there is you know it doesn't matter how great the idea is you can always continue to innovate to mm -hmm. Bill's point around an idea and ultimately make it as good as it can be but the reality back to reality check is how are you going to execute and do you even understand what it takes to execute and I'm not just talking about money mm -hmm. time commitment mm -hmm. effort energy selling your soul <laughs> it's who's your market you know and how big is it um, who are your competitors and what makes you better then you know what's your value proposition what are you going to offer that they don't um, what are the financial projections and you better plan on more than what you're anticipating who is your management team? Because people invest in people. It's not that they necessarily, anybody can have a good idea. It's the execution that makes the idea happen. So who, who are you flanking your with, yourselves with? Um, so those are the kind of things you want to, what, what's the risk and how are you going to mitigate them? And don't say you don't have any because any business idea has risks. So how are you going to mitigate those? So you have to really, it, it helps to take out a piece of paper and begin mm -hmm. to fill in some of the blanks. I have never seen an idea make it to fruition without an incredibly passionate person behind exactly. it. Number so, one. Absolutely, number one. Regardless mm -hmm. of all the skills that you do or don't have, if if you're not just deeply passionate and, mm -hmm. and tenacious. extraordinarily mm -hmm. optimistic <laughs> and tenacious, and tenacious. Mm -hmm. the, yes. have the ability to dream, Yes, your, your chances of success go down pretty significantly. We can try to inspire people to be creative, and there are techniques for helping that and group work and kind of individual basis. But what's going to make it work in the end is the skill sets that you apply to it, and that's something that we can actually teach. Mm -hmm. and that's yeah. probably the basis, mm -hmm. a is. strong part of the basis of having on this campus a minor in entrepreneurship and innovation. It's entrepreneurial from top to bottom. So once we get these ideas in the classroom, we're going to bring them forward and we're going to vet them. We're going to go through this process. Is it real? Would someone buy it? Can we actually possibly create this in one semester with what we have available to us? And we're going to bring in experts from the Alcelli Gift who's listening to many ideas. And every one of these will be able to go through them. And we're going to pick just one and we're going to take that forward through teams. And the teams are going to break up and they're going to go for patent research, marketing research prototype development and it can be as simple as a feeder for the top of a fish tank you know or maybe something to hold your razor on your shaving cream bottle whatever it may be and then what I think is the most important in the third stage is we're going to bring this together where the entire class their grade for the last third will be based on the performance of the entire class they can produce a commercial they'll do with a succinct introduction and they're going to present this to, to leaders in the area people entrepreneurs and see if they can sell their idea Maybe it'll be patentable at that point, maybe it won't, but they'll have a product that everybody will look at and they'll see their fingerprints are on it. They'll have something they've created, they'll have a photograph of it, they'll be able to show the people around them, and they'll, what I want to do is start grassroots interest in creativity, innovation, mm -hmm. and then finally invention. What we can offer here to a student is not only the pathway and the, and the educational aspect of it, but a little bit more of a safety net in the failure process. Exactly. It's a safer place to fail than when your house is on the market. Right. You know, you're not investing every dime because there's going to be subsidy, for instance, like an idea lab, or you're not paying a consultant like Gib. Gib is offering his time free to help, or some mm -hmm. of the other organizations Absolutely. that are helping us as well, right. like SCORE, for mm -hmm. instance. And so. 
you know, the students are getting a huge benefit in this process because we understand the entrepreneurs that are involved in what, this educational process have been up against failure, and it can be, it can hurt, but we don't want the stymie of students' love for learning and innovation.